and get ready for another cold night in the Carolinas. The sun has been shining all day long, but it's still cold out there. Temperature is only climbing into the mid 40s today, and we're going to drop back down into the 20s overnight. The snow is moving out of the mountains and foothills, but it's cold out there. And tonight there's worries all of the snow that fell yesterday could refreeze, creating icy and dangerous driving conditions. We have live first warn team weather coverage. Let's start in Watauga County, where our Brandon Goldner is live at five. Brandon, what are conditions like tonight? Well, Sarah and Fred, despite all this snow surrounding me, the roads are actually clear, but there are some slick spots that DOT says drivers need to be aware of. Following a messy morning commute, the roads was really bad. Here, it's awful. Some spots had a lot of black ice on them. The mountain's main highways, including US 321 and 221, dried up as DOT continued to treat roads through the early afternoon. A spokesman tells me all roadways are clear, but drivers should still be cautious as there are slick spots in areas shaded from the sun. Highway Patrol tells me since yesterday, troopers responded to more than 85 crashes in the mountains and foothills, including 17 just this morning. Watauga, Avery, and Ash counties all closed schools for the day. Watauga administrators also canceled classes for this Saturday, which was intended to be a makeup day for all of this winter weather. Instead, they'll be shortening winter break with kids returning to class January 3rd instead of January 7th. Now coming up at six, we'll take a look at road conditions as the sunset and darkness comes in, as well as take a look at the latest in terms of school delays, including one district that's already set a personal record for days missed because of the weather. Reporting live in Beach Mountain, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte. Brandon, thank you.